Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back and I am fired up because today is the day that we start our playoff run. Now, we did go 12 and 4 in the regular season and we ended up with the best record in our conference, which means we have home field advantage in these here playoffs and we have not lost a game since week nine when we fell to the Dallas Gunslingers. So we got to take a look at some of these stats as we finished off the year pretty strong in my opinion. Uh, there was a couple of games where we did not score a lot of points but the objective to the game is to score more points than the team that you're playing against. So we, we did that. You know what I mean? That We did that. That's all I'm saying. Our offense could use some work. Our defense could use some work. But now the records start over. Everybody is nothing to nothing. There is only eight teams left, and we are trying to make our mark. And from the looks of things, as we look at Nate Conway's stats, we, we cannot kick the ball. That's all I'm saying. We cannot kick the ball, so we might be going forward on certain situations. Walter Payton wins MVP and Offensive Player of the Year. Derek Thomas holds down Defensive Player of the Year. Barry Sanders wins the rushing title with over 2,300 yards. The passing title, which I thought Rodgers was going to win, goes to Joe Montana. Jerry Rice of the Cincinnati Flames wins the receiving title over 1,600 yards. We got uh, Reggie White picking up the sack title. We got the interception title going to Willie Brown. And total points this year goes to Chuck Foreman. He was not out here playing with nobody's kids, man. On the Pacific side of the ball, we got the Sharks and the Rhinos going head-to-head, -head, as well as the Sailors and the Legends. The Flames go head-to-head -head with the Philadelphia Americans. Meanwhile, the New York Knights will be going up against the Miami Cyclones. But all of that talk means nothing now, okay? Because it's playoff time and it's either win or go home. There are no more games, okay? This ain't the NBA playoffs where you, you play a couple here, you play a couple there, then you go back and forth. No, no, none of that, okay? You lose and your season is done, okay? And I am not ready to put up a poll about who you guys would like to see as my next team. I want to continue this and see where this goes. Now, we did play the Philadelphia Americans early on in the season. I believe that was week 12 when we did face them. And luckily for us, we escaped that game with a three-point victory. Now, are we trying to do that today? No, I'm gonna make it try to look as convincing as possible because I don't want any second guessing going on. But let's go ahead and get things cracking on second down and 10. Buddy Rogers will throw an absolute dot to Carpenter and he will take us to the first down, third down and 12 now looking up the middle and it's Ronald Byram coming up big and that's when you need people to really show up when it's playoff time. Billy Sims is gonna take his first handoff of the game and Sims is gonna pick up six yards in the process. Second down and four. Pass is complete to Jerry Rice, who spins and loses the football. Not a great way to start this game out at all. John Ward punches out the ball. Gotta take another look. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's clearly a fumble. Recovered by the defense. Second down and 11 as the Americans get their start. And oh no, Jackie Smith with a big catch. And I don't think we're gonna, no, we're not gonna bring him down at all. And that will be a touchdown for Philadelphia and not the way we imagined that this game would start at all. Third down and 10 now. Rodgers looking and almost throws an interception. We had a man that we thought was open to the right. And we thought wrong. That's we thought wrong. Let's just keep it right there. But there is a fumble on the punt return. Irving Fryer could not get his hands on it. It looked like it hit him in the face mask. Romo with the scoop and score. And we are on the board. 
We got to find ways to win. That's all I'm saying. Third down and seven now. And that is going to be Randall Cunningham getting dropped like a bag of ice. First down and 10 as we get the ball back. And it's going to be Ernest Givens making that catch. That'll give him nine yards and bring up second down and one. We're going to hand this one off to our short yardage specialist, Billy Sims. Billy Sims will pick up a first down gain of one. And we are looking for a bomb on second and 10. And the bomb just dropped. Jerry Rice picks up a touchdown, his first of this playoffs. I'm pretty sure it will not be his last as we come to the close of the first quarter with the Cincinnati Flames on top 14 to 7 and we're not stopping there on third and inches Willie Bacon I'm, I should name a pig that Willie Bacon gets the pick and goes all the way to the end zone 21 to 7 Flames and you got to take what you take because Warren Moon does not throw too many interceptions. That's all I'm saying. Gain of seven for Ronnie Bull on that run. And now it is third down and four. And Mr. Warren Moon meets Mr. Too Tall Jones. And let's just say that Mr. Jones won in that exchange. First down and 10 as we get the ball back. Looking up the middle. And it's going to be Ernest Givens, who is tough in the middle, making a big catch. And that'll give us a huge first down now from the 48-yard line. And we're looking for Jerry Rice again. And this one, my good people, might get out of control. His second touchdown of the playoffs. And I feel like I was just saying that he probably won't have just one. Well, that's number two. That is number two, but here come the Americans. Up the middle goes Ronnie Bull, and this is gonna be a touchdown. Nobody could stop Mr. Bull, and that's no bull. Touchdown for the Americans. It is now 14 to 28, and we have to find a way to stop that momentum because once they get going, they get going, but so does Jerry Rice. Good catch up the middle. Now we're going to hand this one off to Billy Sims. Billy Sims has got plenty of room to run, and he's going to pick up a 10-yard gain on that play. First down and 10 from the 43, and this time we go the other way. We're not supposed to go backwards. I don't know if he knew that or not. It is what it is. Loss of four on the play. Second down and 14. And Ronald Byram catches a spiral over the middle. Hit him right in the numbers. And that's where we want to put the ball every single time. Okay. Billy Sims. I don't know how he got out of that. But he did. He'll pick up a gain of 13. Seven seconds left to go in the first half. And we need some kind of points. We're not going to get him. We are not going to get him. That is going to be incomplete. We're going to kick a field goal on fourth down because there's only one second left. And Nate Conway is Nate conway in right now, okay? You understand what I'm saying? I, I don't know what's up with this guy, all right? But for future references, we are not, not going to accept a no-star kicker ever again. <laughs> never, ever, 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 ever. That is just not going to happen. We close the first half up 28 to 14. And let's take a look at some of these stats. Rodgers has the ball going. Most importantly, Jerry Rice has the ball going. 218 passing yards, 29 rushing yards. We are outgaining them a plenty right now, okay? But that's only the first half. Anything can happen in the second half, so we have to keep the pressure on. We have to not necessarily run down the clock, but keep scoring points to keep them out of reach. Second down and four, Warren Moon finds a receiver, and that's going to give him three yards in the process. Third down and one, and I was almost for sure that they were going to be running that ball. They did not. But Lewis will make a touchdown saving catch. Yeah, I said touchdown saving catch because Jackie Smith is fast and he knows what he's doing once he catches the ball. First down and 10, and it's him once again. Gain of five on the play as Charlie Waters will bring him down. 
third down and three now, and they tried to go to him one more time, but the well was dry. You hear me? Second down and 12 now. Rodgers. Woo! That was, that was a bit... <laughs> that had me a bit nervous. Let's just, let's just keep it that way. Ernest Givens with the catch. First down and 10 now from the Cincinnati 39. And we will not be on that side of the field much longer as Ernest Givens catches a really, really important ball. And now here we go. We're going to pass this one off to Billy Sims. Our options got limited, and we fumble again. Second fumble of the game so far, and I'm hoping that is the last. Ah, I don't, I don't even know what happened on this play. Another spin move and another fumble. At this point, we we, we got to stop spinning. That's <laughs> we can't spin any longer. Second down and eight now. Pass is complete. And that is a really, really big tight end. He looks like an offensive lineman. That's all I'm saying. Third down and four after the four-yard pickup. And Reg Hickenbottom, who showed up for them in the last game with, I believe, two touchdowns, could not get his hands on the ball. But we cannot do the same on third and 12. They'll get the ball back. It is now the fourth quarter. Six minutes left to go. Thurman Thomas is finally getting involved in the game. I don't know how they've left him out of the game plan, but he takes this one all the way to the house. And now this is getting a lot closer than what I would like it to be. Second down and 10. And that, oh, that was just bad. That was just really bad, but we try to get the ball away. I don't know what the call is going to be here. I'm I'm guessing it's not going to be a late hit or roughing the quarterback. No. No. Ineligible receiver downfield. Our offensive line needs to tighten up at this point because we can't have any mistakes. And Ronald Byram, I don't know why he's so clutch, but he is. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Second down and six, and we're looking for the home run. No. No. Interception is caught on the play, and that is wild. Jerry dove for it. He probably didn't even need to dive for it, but guess who was there? Fred Knight with open arms was waiting on it, catches it, and even has a great return back and gives them great field position, at least where they were from. From the 32-yard line now, pass is complete to Irving Fryer. That's going to give them 10 on the play. Second down in inches. And Thurman Thomas picks up a very, very easy first down. Third down and eight now, and it's a sack. Let's go. Robert, oh no, that's Dan Sal. I thought that was Robert Gesser, but it's Dan Sal getting the sack. And that is what we needed. And on third and 11, Jerry Rice makes possibly the play of the game, but they still have two timeouts left. And we have to do something about that. Handoff goes up the middle to Billy Sims. Second down and one now. Sims takes it again and picks up the first down. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is going to wrap this one up as the Cincinnati Flames win their first ever playoff game against the Philadelphia Americans. Crazy. Crazy. By the way that first half was going, I would have expected us to end the game with at least about 42 points. That did not happen at all, but we did stand strong and we did keep the lead all the way until the end of the game. Man, I appreciate y'all stopping with me and rocking with me. The next episode in this franchise will be coming up Thursday, same time, same channel, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I've been me, you've been you. Till the next time we speak, I'm out.